Hi, I'm Erica. I'm recording from Northwest Arkansas. Well, I'm so glad you're all celebrating Karen right now. I wish I were there, but it's just a little harder for me to be traveling. And uh, of course, just a little difficult, you know? But uh, Karen and I have been friends for a long time. She's probably one of my probably five people I've known the longest or have shared a friendship with the longest. I remember I was a freshman in college and um, people kept asking me, have you met Karen? Have, do you know Karen yet? Well, her reputation preceded her as an artist and of course as this personality, <laughs> crazy woman, wild and crazy. Um, and so by the time I spotted her uh, wheeling down the walkway, I knew exactly who she was. And I said, are you Karen Wheeler? And the rest is history. Well, Karen and I have always been very passionate about our art, you know, uh, me with my fine arts. And I think she was an illustration major. I'm not sure about that, but we uh we participated in a lot of fine art uh, events art shows and talks and that kind of stuff and you know as you can imagine we're passionate and at the same time pretty competitive so we've had our falling outs um three or four maybe um but you know some of them lasted years However, we still get back together. We manage to, and and when we do, we pick up where we left off. So the rest is history, as they say, um, and the rest is crazy. So Karen and I would um, would do things like most normal people probably wouldn't do: go to the mall and pretend we're cowgirls, riding our horses humming rawhide theme and oh and that that christmas song giddy up giddy up giddy up let's go yep we did that we'd go play hide and seek you know through the racks and i remember we uh we double dated me and my date and, and karen and dave calzolari then we go to Queen Mary and uh, usually late at night, like midnight or something or before midnight, because there would be trays from banquets, you know, in the hallways and we'd eat the food <laughs> and we'd go to the banquet room and, and just pretend we're having a party and we'd dance and get up on the stage and, you know, I don't know how we got up on the stage and pretend we're performing that kind of stuff, but we had a lot of fun. You know, we were night owls and Dave was willing to drive late at night. And so we had fun. Uh, one of the things that Karen used to do was, well, we both like film noir, you know. So one of her favorites is Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. And she would sing Betty Davis's song, I've Written a Letter to Daddy. And sing it like like a little fly, you know, with the really pressed voice and with a tiny vibrato. I do it for you, but I really can't. She does it so well. But it was, we'd always crack up whenever she did that. But I did notice she stopped saying that when Wayno passed away. Or maybe it's just because I was in Arkansas already and um, she's in Nevada. But um, but that was one of our favorite crazy stuff. Um, we we talked about some deep things, and and I was so fortunate to have someone who understands, you know, uh, the disabled things that we go through, and I hope I was there for her. I was so glad, for the most part, to to have someone who understands my humor. Because not everybody understands it. I have to justify it. It's like, I was just kidding. You know, and with Karen, I never had to explain that. She gets it. 
she gets me and I get her. And that's why we have a lot of fun. You know, losing someone like Karen, a longtime friend like her, part of you dies. Um, that history, those moments from college on to post-college and adulthood that she was witness to, she took with her. I don't have people to talk to about those things anymore. And that's, that's a big chunk out of me. You know, um, I just hope and pray that I was there for her too. That I served the purpose in her life too. Because she did with me. Everybody we meet is our teacher. And I learned a lot from her. One of the things that I learned was knocking on gallery doors. Um, I'm still not used to it. I still don't like it, but she would go through every gallery, especially in, uh, when she moved to Nevada. And for every rejection that she received, she said, well, that just brought her closer to the yes answer. I mean, how's that for attitude? That's pretty positive. Well, I hope she's doing all the things that she wanted to do, things that would have brought her more joy while she was with us. You know, I know she's happy to see her dad and her mom, her dog, Mandy, maybe, all her birds, and of course, Dave. But I really wish she would come and visit me. I know. Okay, so that's, that's the sense of humor that she and I would understand. It's a bit morbid, but that's how we are. Um, no, I haven't gotten any visitation from Karen. I'm waiting. Anyway, I hope you guys are having fun over there. Know that she'd be right there laughing with you guys, maybe drinking a little bit, um, but definitely laughing with you guys. I wish I were there with you. Terry, thank you so much for doing this. You are awesome. You know your sister loved you. Okay, thanks a lot.